The Candao Obsidian is a professional 3D 360 degrees VR camera. Power the camera using one of the following ways. PLE power over Ethernet. 12 volts external power supply. 2 by Canon LP E6 or compatible batteries. If more than one power source is connected to the camera at the same time, the camera will choose a supply in the order of preference as listed above. Insert micro SD card by 6. Insert all 6 micro SD cards into the slots. U3 cards are highly recommended for maximum speed and stability. Switch on or off the Obsidian camera. Power on. Long press the power button for 3 seconds. If the camera is turned on normally, the power lamp will stay red and the 6 working mode lamps will blink then stay blue. Power off. Long press the power button for 3 seconds. Video shooting or photo shooting. Video shooting. Short press the video button to start recording video. All working mode lamps will be in quick flashes before the recording starts. During the recording process, working mode lamps will flash slowly. Short press the button again to stop recording. Photo shooting. Short press the time lapse and photo capture button to start the capture. The default time interval is 10 seconds. Time interval can be changed in Obsidian Remote App. Short press the time lapse photo capture button again to end the capture. Operate with Obsidian Remote App. Turn on the Obsidian camera. Make the cell phone or pad and the Obsidian camera connect to the same Wi Fi network. Start the controller app. Click the detect button to search for the Obsidian camera. Choose the camera that you want to connect. Now you are in the preview mode. Click the global setting button on the right down corner and choose the video size and frame rate. Exit global setting. Click any of the lens preview to adjust exposure and wide balance. And now you can choose the shooting mode, time lapse or video. Now enjoy the shooting time with Obsidian VR camera. How to use Candao software. Save the footage shot by Obsidian into folders named from 01 to 06. Each folder represents the corresponding lens from 1 to 6. Launch the Countdown Studio software. Click the arrow button to add your footage. Find the location of your footage and select a video that needs to be stitched. Now, the studio has automatically synchronized the footage from other lenses. In the preview mode, you can see the preliminary stitched result. At the timeline, you can drag the in and out point to define the time duration that you plan to stitch. During the process, the start and end time code in the clip setting will change accordingly. Click the automatic calibration button. The studio will refine stereo parallax of the stitching video. You can select the fast or high quality mode. You can also choose 3D or 2D stitching mode. If you want to improve the stitching result, change the setting of preferred distance. For output port, select the different resolutions. Now we have completed all the added work of stitching. Click Stitch button and start the stitching. After the stitching is completed, you can watch the stitched result with your video player or use Pod Player to view the in 360 degrees mode. Thank you for watching.